If you have a Ford F-250, F-350 Super Duty that's got the 6.7 liter diesel in it, basically 2011 or newer, this is something that you need to know. I like to think I stay pretty up to date with what's going on with these trucks on forums and the internet and such, but this is something that I personally did not know about. And uh, the way I learned about it was on the side of the road. <laughs> So what I'm talking about here is the cold side intercooler charge pipe. Now from the factory, this is kind of a plastic resin, you know, some type of material like that. And with heat, time, age, these things get weak and brittle. Now this is only half of it because my stock one, the other end of it, uh, basically blew to smithereens on me. Uh, and when that happened is my wife and I were going down for our very first wedding anniversary, got on the interstate, started heading down towards Hatteras and pulled out into traffic and boom! Sounded like a shotgun went off underneath the hood. Coincidentally enough, I had just changed oil the day before. I just done my fuel filter, so of course, my brain starts going crazy. Now, what it was was not that serious, but at the moment, I had no clue what it was. All I know is I had black smoke pouring out the exhaust. I had no power, and uh, we were stuck on the side of the road. This is a known failure on these motors. Some companies make metal versions of these, whether they be aluminum or whatever they are, uh, but Ford usually does keep them at the dealership. My truck only had 50,000 miles on it when this happened, so it's not like it takes a ton of miles for this to be an issue. You don't know when it's going to go, but when it does, you're, you're pretty well stuck. Uh, from Ford, this piece is, I think, around $200. It comes with the sensor. But when that shotgun noise goes off, this is most likely what it is. 2011 to 2016 is obviously the generation that I have. I'm not 100% sure if it's the same issue on a 2017 and above, uh, but I know that they make you know, aftermarket cold side charge pipes for them. So either go with a metal one or get two replacement factory ones, either when yours blows or get another one and go ahead and have it in the truck at all times. Now to change it, you can do it with just basic tools. You don't have to pull a whole lot of stuff off. Uh, there's plenty of how to videos on the internet, how to do it. But like I said, I didn't even know that this is what the issue was. And once I got the part in hand, it only took me about 10 minutes to change it. If you look right here's the center, this is your cold side charge pipe. <clears throat> now, this is where it'll snap at this point right here. And when it does, it won't seal up to it. Now, you'll see some pictures of some people's they're able to duct tape it and get it home. Mine blew into a thousand pieces, and there was no way that thing was going to be able to seal up anymore. So, it connects all the way down there at the bottom. Now, to put it back on, all you got to do is just snap it on, and that snap ring goes into place. Down there at the bottom, you can't really see it, but if you see that little band right there, it's just got a, a clamp on it, so you would need some type of socket or extension for that. But this side just snaps in, that side's got a clamp on it. So just want to give you all a visual, I hope that helps. I hadn't done any videos on the F-250 in a while, and this is something I've been wanting to uh, kind of put out there. Uh, when I did a search on YouTube, I found a ton of how-to videos, but nothing just letting people know that this is a known issue. Something to keep in mind, so just in case you guys get stuck on the side of the road, this bad boy could likely be the problem. Y'all take it easy.